on Tippy Canoe, and this is not MTV Cribs. This is not Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, but you are in fact in my home, so you can call it whatever you will. But welcome. Well, Tippy Canoe started uh, for many years as a drummer in a rock and roll band called the Kirby Grips, and as that went on a long hiatus, uh, I decided I wanted to start singing a little more and learning a melody instrument, so I started playing guitar. And then the ukulele came into my life and that stole my heart for many years and has been the, the instrument I guess I'm most known for. Well, this is my special ukulele made for me by Peter Herney and I found a 1913 poster from the Bauhaus School which I've always been fascinated by and this little bit right here just seemed perfect for a sound hole. Maybe uh, 2004, 2005, somewhere in there. It was the very, very first time I started strumming. Mama, mama with the mask. Surrounded by my, some of my favorite things. Some beautiful Japanese drum kit that I love so much. And as you already met, my uh, tippy canoe ukulele. And then my little trusty little Epiphone hummingbird. So. I love playing the big clubs with the beautiful sound systems and you know, beautiful history, but it, there's something special about just throwing it down in, in an art gallery in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and just, uh, just singing and playing. Nothing is going to stop me from playing, <laughs> you know, not rain nor sleet nor lack of electricity, so I've done a few very memorable shows where there was no PA at all, and you just got to roam free and uh, kind of look the audience right in the eye and sing individually, person to person, and which is especially fun when singing a murder ballad. So. When I'm on tour, my husband always comes with me, so we've decided never to spend any night apart if we can help it, so hopefully none of us will be arrested anytime soon. Um, but I do miss Captain Bobby Underfoot, my cat, when I'm gone. Um, I don't miss home because I don't go on long tours. Uh, you know, I usually do short and sweet, nothing more than two weeks um, at the most. So, so it, it is, it's just, it's a pleasure. I mean, it's, it's always fantastic to walk through the door at the end of one, no matter whether it was just overnight or if it was two weeks, there is always that great sense of coming home. We're just about to start working on the second recording, and uh, it's been a few years since Parasols and Pekingese, the first release, and so a lot has changed. A lot of, a lot of musical growth has been happening, and a lot of great new friendships have uh, been embarked upon. So we've got a whole new, uh, exciting bunch of things in store. Uh, part of the record will be more solo, more minimal, kind of the way people in other states have seen me as I tour solo quite a bit and then some of the record will be with the paddlemen so you'll get your big drums, your bass and uh, that'll be exciting to get that combination of our personalities in there and then there will be a few where it will be somewhere in between it'll be mostly on the minimal side but it'll be me and my uh, dear friend and guitarist Mikey Lee Prasad uh, playing a variety of instruments. Backseat Driver, and this is a little sneak preview just for you, solo acoustic version. This will be with the full band on the CD, so 